missing putts sucks. It's gonna happen sometimes, but if you find that you're jittery, that you miss too many short putts, and your distance control sucks, I'm gonna give you something that's gonna help you do the most important thing, which is to stop decelerating and hit confident putts with ease, no matter whether it's a three foot or a 30 foot. Let's find out how. Okay, there's a couple of reasons why you're decelerating into your putts. And the first thing is around the setup, and the second thing is around the confidence strike. We're gonna cover both. But first, let's talk about the setup, all right? What tends to happen a little bit, I'm probably better off showing you from here, is when people tend to set up to their putter, they're hunched over, okay? They're too hunched over, and what that does, that sort of restricts the arms a little bit just to, you know, move through. We kind of get in our own way. So what happens is we get too handsy. We try and control it with the hands or flip through, whether it's sort of this way or whether we're just kind of trying to push it that way. Because we're sort of in our own way. Like if I exaggerate, I'm here, okay? I'm sort of in my own way. So one of the nicest and quickest sort of ways to see an improvement is just to try standing a little bit taller, okay? Now, if you've got a really diddy uh, short putter, this might be a little bit difficult and you might wanna have, you know, look at getting it a bit longer, whether it's one or two inches, but you can still just sort of uh, extend up. Like, so what I'm talking about is standing a little bit closer maybe, but just standing taller, sort of raising that chest up. And you notice Tiger Woods, Ricky Fowler, these people did excellent. You know, they're, they're known as some of the best putters in the world, but they stand relatively tall. They're not hunched over this way, but most of you are, okay? So I want you to just try standing a little bit taller. And what that's gonna do is help the chest sort of rotate through and be guided a little bit more. That's in essence it. And I want you to just try that out, okay? The next thing that happens is you might have sort of heard about rocking the shoulders. You know, you've got to rock the shoulders this way. All right, my buddy Andy Gorman uh, has talked about this for, you know, 20 odd years about sort of rotating the sternum a little bit more. And I want you to just sort of think that the putting stroke is a lot more in the center of the chest here. And a little sort of feel we can do is just holding with the right hand only here. And we are just going to sort of rotate the chest. This is the sort of engine and this is the, the wheel, this is the spoke and I'm just sort of turning and rotating that way. That's my engine there. That's my controlling factor, all right? I've got that feel. That's what I want to practice here. It's not rocking this way and it's certainly not sort of hinging the wrists and the hands. Pretty easy, right? So just try and practice that and be conscious of are you rocking the shoulders, are you being too much hands, or are we using the center of the chest as the engine, okay? There's the two things, stand up taller, use the chest a little bit more. With these two sort of errors that I've discussed so far, is that resonating with you a little bit? I reckon it might be, but I'm also gonna wonder whether the next thing about your grip is something that you fall prey to. A misconception a little bit is grip the putter very lightly. But if you're suffering from the yips or you know inconsistent putting, you might just be gripping it way too lightly so the putter is going to loll around. Because we're using this as the, the engine, we're gonna grip a little bit firmer with the, the hands, okay? Just like you would a sort of hammer or something like that. Now, I do wanna mention, just because my hand is left below right, and I'm not saying you have to do that. You can try it right below left. I've done this for, you know, quite a long time now. I fiddled around with, you know, the, the claw grip, right below left, whatever. I don't care about that right now. But I do want you to have a firm sort of hold on the putter. So we're gonna stand taller. We're going to feel the engine sort of rotate. And then we're going to grip a little bit firmer, okay? And we're going to make the putt. But the final concept is if you miss it, okay, 
it is because you are decelerating. And I'm gonna show you a wonderful drill to fix that right now. This drill is sort of like the pop stroke. And what it is, it's about giving you a commitment and a strong, positive acceleration into the ball. It doesn't necessarily mean hard, but it's about a confident acceleration. And we're gonna do it by this. Take your normal setup, okay? However you normally set up to the ball, just like this. But what we're gonna do now is a practice stroke, but we are going to move our lead foot ahead here, okay? I'm gonna move it in the way of the putter and almost so I have no follow through whatsoever. It's gonna feel a little bit awkward because this isn't obviously how I stand, but I'm standing like this and the point is, I'm going to try and stop the putter here, okay? I'm gonna try and stop the putter there. What's that gonna do? Because if we decelerate and try and steer the putt, try and steer with the hands or push the, the ball to the hole, that's where missed putts kind of come from because we're trying to steer it. But if we have a more positive outlook and it's like, okay, yeah, there's where I wanna be. There's where I wanna be. There's where I wanna be. We hopefully can make more positive strokes that give us the whole putts that we want. And it works for longer putts and shorter putts. So I want you to practice that at home right now. It sort of feels a bit strange, but if you notice you're decelerating, I want you to practice that a considerable amount with the keys that we talked on. And that is it. Practice that drill, try those tweaks to your setup, and let me know how you get on. Now, if you want to take your putting or any other facet of your game to the next level, I want you to come on a golf journey with us. It's free, and all you have to do is click the link below, and you can choose your golfing journey to work on the things you need to work on right now. It's free, and you can check it out.